Hey, you bunch of weirdos. Welcome back to the Evil Air Projects and Builds. In this one, we're going to build an air cannon. More especially, a golf ball one. We have some charity events that are going on. It's that time of the year where a lot of people are having charity golf events. And a local federal credit union asked if I would be willing to make one of these pressurized air cannons using air pressure. And of course, your boy can't turn down a challenge. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and make it. Here's the materials we're going to use. We're going to use a four inch PVC pipe. This is going to be our main suppository for the pressure. So just for your knowledge out there, this can hold about 100 PSIs, schedule 40, good strong stuff. I like it. Next for the barrel, boom. We got to do something a little weird on this one because they do not make a size that tightly fits. It just falls right through, right? And there's a lot of empty space in there. So we got to figure out what we're going to do as far as that goes. We'll figure that out as we're working it. But there's our barrel for our four inch pipe. We're going to cut this down and we're going to make this a bazooka style. Right? Look at that half of each end out here. And then of course, we'll go with a traditional ball valve for our trigger. Of course, a reducer and a few other odds, ends, pieces, things along that line to make us uh, air cannon quick safety warning out there hey if you guys are going to do this kind of stuff you know you don't do it in neighborhoods you don't do it in crowded cities you don't do it anything like that when this thing comes out of here it's going to go where it wants to go think about cannons and musket ball firings back in the day they're going to do what they're going to do so this is extremely unsafe to set off in areas so don't do that and also check with your local laws regulations rules edicts and whatever else the government has put on you to make sure you can't do this kind of stuff uh, right depending on where you're at it is what it is but remember safety is smart right that's the way it works always be safe be careful if you decide to do these kind of projects and definitely when you get caught don't tell them that you got it from here otherwise you can't make this kind of stuff anymore that's how that works. I can't help it, I can't let you forget me, me, me. I won't let you forget me, me, me. Oh, no. yeah. Girl, I take back all the lies and the side. Girl, I try. Let's remember all the times that we did have. And the times I made you laugh when you sat up on my lap. When the brothers wasn't packed because of COVID. Back and forth we go. You forget me, oh. She said, Stop it. I'm always let me down when I want you. I can't help it, but I can't let you forget me. Me, me. I won't let you forget me. Me, me. Oh, no. All right, so we got everything lightly sanded and we kind of scuffed up some of the inside where the joints meet. Here, here, right? The inside here, the outside here, kind of scuffed up. I went in and sanded out the outside of a lot of this too because we're going to be laying down some spray paint. So, you know, why come back and do it later when it's all joined together? Just do it while it's separate. So, we're going to now prime and submit this stuff together. I like to use just the traditional stuff that you see on the shelf, right? Go look that up yourself. Um, stuff's rated for Schedule 40 PVC. So, given the dimensions and everything we're using here, we should be able to use safely, right, between 85 and 100 PSI for this to shoot our launch, our ball, hopefully. A couple other things I grabbed just on the short and quick. I grabbed some of this. This is a rubberizing cement or vulcanizing cement. We're going to have to add an air valve to this. So I'm going to do that last on the air cap. So that's kind of out of the way. But for right now, we're just going to kind of join a lot of this together. And then you can kind of get an idea of what we're dealing with. And then we'll kind of come back and look at the end cap and the valve.
kind of at right now we have a few main pieces but we got to lay down paint before we can assemble it all together because you don't it, one it just looks bad and poor and if you're using two tough colors the colors of the particular federal credit union are blue and gold uh, kind of representing the navy right um, so here's where we're kind of at right now boom we got our kind of barrel i've already primed it then we got our connector piece. This goes into the barrel part up here. So we can connect this, and then the barrel comes out here. So it kind of goes like that. Very cool. We'll spray those down. Then we got our end cap, boom, where our valve's going to go. And then, of course, our air, air supply. Air supply, whatever. So that's pretty much where we're at right now. So let's shoot some primer down, uh, well, lay down some tape, right? Because where we want our connections to meet, right? We don't want to paint on that. So we'll lay down some tape, put down some primer, and uh, go ahead and shoot our colors. I don't know how I'm gonna match this up yet. I'm just gonna go with this, let the happy mistakes happen. All right, let's go. Yeah. 
night, you wonderful weirdos. That is it. We got a successful little test launch that we didn't shoot a golf ball in the neighborhood. I feel like I should put that out there. Golf ball's much heavier. Boom, that would have been dangerous. Luckily, I found these little training balls, right? They're plastic, right? So I wouldn't have traveled as far because it's super light. There's no density to it. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of impressed with that. So if we actually use this out on the golf course, you'll see that video next, uh, right after this. So uh, if not, because I got busy or whatever, definitely think about liking, subscribing, commenting. Maybe I'll do some shorts with this thing. I don't know. Let me know what you want to see, and uh, we'll do our best to do that here at the Old Evil Lair. I got nothing else, guys. See you later. I think it's huge. <laughs> Go ahead. Three, two, one.